Tuesday may have sucked, but Monday almost made up for it. Shortly before our identity as a nation came into question, Warner Bros. Animation announced that Young Justice will be getting a long-awaited third season. Young Justice originally aired in 2010 on Cartoon Network and produced 46 episodes until it was cancelled in 2013 due to low sales of the action figure line. In spite of the bleak chances for a revival, Young Justice maintained a strong fanbase and their tenaciousness was validated earlier this year when producer Greg Weissman encouraged fans to get the show trending on Netflix. That added attention must have worked because last Monday Warner Bros. announced that production has begun on a third season. No details yet on the premiere date or where it will be aired, but it looks like, in this rare instance, the fan petitions worked. And other than that disastrous thing that happened this week, there really isn't anything else worth talking about, so on to movies! This week starts off with... Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Get ready for a new wave of memes on your Facebook page, this long-awaited spin-off to the Harry Potter franchise is finally here, because after eight movies where all of the adults come off as cartoonish idiots, why not make a movie about them? In this case, it's a period piece about a wacky British wizard traveling to the States to track magical creatures and apparently get into a standoff with the New York police. Okay, next up we have... The Eyes of My Mother. Sure, Halloween may be over, but it's not too late for some creepy horror, and this definitely looks creepy. This one will get a limited theatrical release this week before it hits the internet on December 2nd. And for something a little bit more lighthearted, we have... Officer Down. What do you do when a gang of gun-toting nuns are wrecking havoc on the city? Use a zombie cop to bring them in line, of course. This looks dumb, crazy, a lot of fun, and I hope to see much more of it. Finally, we have Life on the Line. John Travolta dons an entirely unconvincing accent to showcase the thrills and dangers of line work. In the most implausible scenario imaginable, a wicked storm derails a train and blows the power grid just as Travolta's beloved niece needs surgery. And since she's apparently in a hospital without backup generators, it's up to Travolta to turn the lights back on. If only he can trust the idiot rookie lineman who's also sleeping with said niece. You know, I wasn't sure about this movie at first, but by the end of that paragraph, I was totally in. On television this week, we have the sixth and final season of Teen Wolf, and holy crap, can they possibly be on a sixth season of this show already? I never watched it, but I did binge on two seasons of MTV's Scream over Halloween, and that was pretty good, so maybe it's about time I give this a shot. Meanwhile, over on USA, the twice-postponed Shooter is aiming to finally hit its target release. Shooter was delayed following the shootings in Dallas and Boston Rouge last July, so here's hoping it doesn't get delayed again. In video games, we have Way of the Red, a sweet-looking pixel art action platformer that, as near as I can tell, is about a sword-wielding pterodactyl fighting off an army of NES-style enemies. And if that's not enough pixel art for you, how about The Sandbox Evolution? As if there weren't enough great-looking 2D platformers out there, this game, which looks like Mario Maker for graphics artists, promises to flood the market with even more. And hey, let's just keep going on with the theme. Gunmetal Arcadia Zero is another retro game that seems to be heavily inspired by Zelda II The Adventure of Link. Like, almost to the point where I wonder if this didn't start off as a ROM hack. For something a little more modern, we have Silence. The trailer doesn't show any gameplay, but the art style is pretty incredible, so whatever it is, it'll at least be worth looking at. Next up, we have Renor, a slick-looking puzzle platformer about a hard luck gumshoe that has to solve his own murder. And finally, over on the 3DS, Pokémon Sun and Moon is just about here. New Pokémon, new moves, new settings, still pretty much the same game it's been since 1996, but hey, we love it anyway. Wrapping things up with this week's CG Bros video, we have Closer, a short film by Angelo Lasita. Questionable acting and dialogue aside, it's a pretty spiffy looking sci-fi adventure story. (gasps) Don't tell my girlfriend. And that leaves us with this week's awesome video. The game theorists took a dive into some video game legends with the history of Chrono Trigger, detailing the behind the scenes story about the development of one of the best RPGs ever. 
And of course, being the hit debut of a new IP from the same company who brought us about 44 Dragon Quest games and 93 Final Fantasy titles, Chrono Trigger quickly saw sequel after sequel, each one more expansive and more graphically intense than the rest. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Square didn't do crap with the Chrono franchise. And that's everything for this week, so how excited are you for Young Justice getting a third season? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, pass this video around to your friends, and have a great week.